Technics SL1200 is a series of direct drive turntables originally manufactured from October 1972 until 2010, and resumed in 2016, by Matsushita later known as Panasonic under the brand name of Technics. S means «stereo», L means «player». Originally released as a high-fidelity consumer record player, it quickly became adopted among radio and disco club disc jockeys, thanks to the direct drive, high-torque motor design, making it initially suitable for push-button cueing and starting of tracks on radio and in dance clubs. It is still extremely popular with audiophiles. When the use of slip mats for cueing and beat mixing and scratching became popular in hip-hop music, the quartz-controlled high-torque motor system enabled records to be mixed with consistency and accuracy. A primary design goal was for high fidelity, but having good build quality, control over wow and flutter, and minimized resonance made the equipment particularly suitable for use in nightclubs and other public address applications. Since its release in 1978, SL1200 MK2 and its successors were the most common turntable for DJing and scratching. Producers, DJs and MCs refer to the Technics turntable as the Tech 12s, that record player, and the Wheels of Steel. 1200s are commonly used in recording studios and for non-electronic live music performance. More than 3 million units were sold. It is widely regarded as one of the most durable and reliable turntables ever produced. Many 1970s units are still in heavy use. In the autumn of 2010, Panasonic announced that the series was to be discontinued. However, at the 2016 Consumer Electronics Show, Panasonic announced that they would return in two models named Grand Class. One a limited run of 1200 globally, 1200 GAE, and the other a consumer product, 1200 G. A lighter and less expensive 1200 GR model was announced. At the London Science Museum, a Technics SL1210 is on display as one of the pieces of technology that have shaped the world we live in. Topic features SL1200 features include magnetic nowhere, direct drive, low slip mechanism. High torque 1.5 kg force cm or 0.15 nm, which means the platter spins at the desired speed almost immediately 0.7 seconds to reach 33 rpm from standstill, and rapidly reacquires the desired speed, without overshooting, if the platter is dragged or nudged. This aids beat matching. High torque 3.3 kg force cm for SL1200G and SL1200GAE high torque 2.2 kg force cm for SL1200GR high torque 1.8 kg force cm for SL1200MK7 low wow and flutter 0.01%, implying that the platter stays within 1 one hundredth of 1% of the desired speed. Heavy base 2.5 kg, and increased isolation of platter from base, reduced the likelihood of feedback or stylus jumping. Variable pitch control, allowing the rotational speed to be adjusted from minus 8% to plus 8% for the purpose of beat matching. Option to select minus 16% to plus 16% added M5G, MK5G, GLD, GI, G, GR and MK7. High reliability, many examples of SL1200s lasting well over 15 years of heavy use and withstanding physical shock without functional impairment. S-shaped tone arm, no longer popular on high-end hi-fi turntables. Topic Specifications 
dimensions M K one forty five point three centimeters W by thirty six point six centimeters D by eighteen centimeters H Dimensions MK two forty five point three centimeters W by thirty six centimeters D by sixteen point two centimeters H Weight MK two eleven kilograms net unboxed without lid Weight G guy eighteen kilograms Weight GR eleven point five kilograms Weight MK seven seven point six kilograms Voltage: 220 volts, 110 volts. Selectable. Pitch control: plus or minus 8% or plus or minus 16%. Starting time: MK2 0. Sevens rotation speeds: 33 minus one third and 45 revolutions per minute. Rotation speeds: 33 minus one third, 45 revolutions per minute, and 78 revolutions per minute. MK4 and MK7. Topic: History. The SL1200 was the most influential turntable. It was developed in 1971 by a team led by Shuichi Obata at Matsushita, which then released it onto the market in 1972. It was adopted by New York City hip-hop DJs such as Grand Wizard Theodore, Africa Bambata and Grandmaster Flash in the 1970s. As they experimented with the SL1200 decks, they developed scratching techniques when they found that the motor would continue to spin at the correct RPM even if the DJ wiggled the record back and forth on the platter. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy models Original model. Topic SL one two zero zero. The SL one two zero zero was introduced in nineteen seventy two as an evolution to the popular SL one one zero zero. It was dubbed the middle class player system. It was delivered in two different versions, the SL1200 came with a tonearm section. The SL120 came without a tonearm section. An SME tonearm was the usual choice for the audiophile. <laughs> MK2 models The SL1200 Mark II was introduced in 1979 as an update to the SL1200. It represented a culmination of Technic's turntable innovations. It was dubbed as the middle class quartz direct drive. It soon found its way into discos as well as radio stations for airplay because of its vibration damping ability and resistance to feedback, and eventually it became popular with pioneering hip-hop DJs. Model numbers indicated color, the 1200 silver and 1210 matte black. This was the same in the US and Japan initially, however later the 1200 was available in both silver and matte black finishes. Since 1997, the MK2 had the pitch slide potentiometer improved in order to remove the quartz lock conflict when beatmatching near the 0% mark. In order to do this, the SFDZ 122N11 one part number was replaced with an improved SFDZ 122N11 two part, which had a plus or minus 0.5 mm quartz travel lock, much shorter than previous versions. Versions. This meant that the null point on the center voltage tap was slightly bigger thus removing the quartz lock conflict. The difference can be seen in the following video demonstration, https colon slash slash www.youtube.com, watch, v equals m underscore rr01 ssq80. 
Topic SL one two O O M K two Released in 1979, this model came in both silver and matte black. Technics improved the motor and shock resistance and changed the rotary pitch control to a slider style. This became the base model and is the oldest whose production continued until 2010. The older version of this model that was sold in the 1970s and 1980s has a large 4-inch diameter 100 mm plate where the RCA and ground wires enter the unit, while the newer version has a smaller 2-inch diameter 51 mm hole in the rubber where the RCA and ground enter. International versions of the SL1200 MK2 included switches for line voltage and frequency beneath the platter. Topic SL1210 MK2 This model came in satin black metallic finish and is nearly the same in function as the SL1200 MK2, although some of the circuitry inside is updated to use fewer types of pots and resistors. The Technics 1210 series also had a switch to change between voltages on the underside of the platter. It was unavailable from official Panasonic dealers in the United States. Topic SL one two O O M K two P K. This model has a matte black finish and was only available in the United States. Topic M K three models. Topic. SL1200 MK3 Released in 1989, has a matte black finish like the MK2, gold RCA plugs, and a small gold foil Technics label on the back. It was destined only for the Japanese market. SL1200 MK3D Japan only, factory gold RCA cables, black or silver finish SL1200 M3D Released in 1997, has a silver finish like the MK2, a detached dust cover no hinges, a recessed power switch to avoid DJs from accidentally turning the deck off during use, and no self-locking detent click at the zero point of the pitch adjustment slider, allowing more precise control of pitch near that point. It has a reset button that sets the pitch adjustment to zero, regardless of the actual position of the pitch adjustment slider. In addition the M3D series has unique details, the brand and model label is printed in a single line instead of two, and the stroboscopic light is red with a slightly orange tone. This model also introduced a slot near the counterweight allowing for storage of a second headshell. Topic SL one two one O M three D. This model is the same as the SL one two O O M three D, except with a matte black finish like the MK two and a voltage switch. Topic MK four models. Topic SL one two O O M K four The SL one two O O Mark IV was introduced in nineteen ninety six. It was an update to the SL one two O O M K two. Only available in Japan, Southeast Asia markets price for around six hundred fifty dollars. It has a matte black finish. 
This model is aimed at the high-end audiophile market rather than DJs. It is the last model made with the detent click in the neutral position plus or minus 0% of the pitch adjustment slider. In addition to the existing 33 RPM and 45 RPM buttons, the MK4 adds a 78 RPM button. It is designed to be used with regular removable RCA cables along with a removable ground earth cable rather than having hard-wired RCA cables like all other 1200-1210 models. The tone arm was different to the previous models as it was made from titanium. Topic: <laughs> MK5 models. Topic SL1200 MK5 Released on 1 November 2002, has a silver finish like the MK2, increases the range of anti-skate settings from 0 to 3 g force 0 to 30 millinewtons to 0 to 6 g force 0 to 60 millinewtons. It has a white LED target light previous versions only had an incandescent bulb. Current MK5 models have a removable lid with magnets as opposed to the MK2 and MK3 removable hinged lid. Available as 120 volt model for the North American market. The MK5 is the last 1200 model to retain an analog pitch control. Topic SL1210 MK5 has a matte black finish like the MK2 and is exactly the same as the SL1200 MK5, aside from the voltage switch, like the other decks in the 1210 series. Available as 120 volt model for the North American market. Topic SL1200 MK5G Similar to the SL1210 M5G Topic SL1210 M5G released on the 1st of November 2002 has a glossy black finish with silver speckles It was a special 30th anniversary edition it was initially launched in Japan only together with the MK5 but then became internationally available. It switches between plus or minus 8% and plus or minus 16% ranges for pitch adjustment and the pitch control is digital which will be the standard for all 1200 models from this point on. It also features blue target lights and blue pitch number illumination. The brake strength potentiometer, although still located beneath platter, can now be adjusted, unlike previous models, using a small plastic knob. Minor improvements over MK2, MK3, MK4, and 1200LTD include improved tone arm mounting and oxygen free copper wire, improved vibration damping in the body, improvements to pitch control accuracy, and better LEDs. Available as 120 volt model for the North American market. Topic MK6 models SL1200 MK6K and SL1200 MK6S released in February 2008 in Japan with minor improvements including improved tone arm mounting and oxygen free copper wire, improved vibration damping in the body, improvements to the pitch control accuracy and better LEDs. S model has a silver finish like the MK2. SL1200 MK6K1 released on the 12th of December 2007 in Japan as a special 35th anniversary limited edition of 1000 units. It consisted of a standard black MK6 packaged up with a booklet and gold record. Topic: Special models. 
These were limited edition versions, with 24 karat gold plated metal parts including tonearm and buttons. Many non official special models of the SL1200 and SL1210 appeared over the years, mainly given away as prizes for turntablism, most notably the DMC World Championship, who awarded the winner a pair of 24K gold plated Technics turntables. Due to the customization trend that has grown in the DJ community, many local events or competitions gave away custom colored or finished units. <laughs> SL1200 LTD The SL1200 Limited Edition was introduced in 1995 commemorating 2 million units in sales. Only 5,000 units were made. Like the MK3D, it has a pitch reset button, but differs in that it also has a self-locking detent at the zero position of pitch adjustment. This model has a piano black gloss finish and gold-plated hardware. It was priced at about $1,200. SL1200GLD Released in 2004, another limited edition model, with only 3,000 units manufactured. 1,500 of them were sold in the U.S. and the other 1,500 internationally. It is based on the MK5G model, with blue instead of the regular white target lights, a piano black gloss finish, and gold-plated hardware. It was created to commemorate the 3 million turntables sold by Technics in the last 30 years. Topic. Current models Topic. Grand Class SL1200 Series Development of a completely rebuilt SL1200 from the ground up with the intent to create a new system for hi-fi use and to redefine the direct drive turntable reference. Topic SL one two O O G Announced in January twenty sixteen CES in Las Vegas, released in October twenty sixteen, SL one two O O Grand Class, an aluminum bound turntable with a high damping tone arm, a three layer turntable system, complete with a microprocessor and the use of a newly developed coreless twin rotor direct drive motor with no iron core with rotary positing sensors to eliminate cogging, as well as 78 revolutions per minute speed compatibility. <laughs> SL1200GAE Announced in January 2016 CES in Las Vegas, released in April 2016, SL1200 Grand Class 50th Anniversary Edition, a limited edition of 1,200 units. Same as above, with a magnesium case. Both the G and Guy had an approximate MSRP price of £3,100 per $4,000 USD. Topic SL1200GR Announced in January 2017 CES, the GR model is a stripped-down budget version of the G cutting the price tag more than half at an approximate MSRP of £1,299 per $1,700 USD. It differs in body construction that it uses a more traditional cast aluminium design similar to the older decks and a one-piece cast platter which brings an overall weight difference between the G, Guy. The G, Guy and GR both use what are essentially the same nine-pole motor. 
Whereas the G has twin rotors, the GR has a single rotor, giving it less torque. The GR differs from the G in its use of a feedback generator coil system as used in the original SL1200 instead of an optical encoder. Topic: <laughs> SL1210GR is the same as the SL1200GR except with a matte black finish. Topic: MK7 models. The MK7 models were launched as the first new Technics standard DJ turntable in approximately 9 years. Topic: SL1200 MK7. Announced in January 2019 CES, the new model inherits the traditional design of the same series in all black and maintains the same operating ease, reliability and durability, while newly adding a coreless direct drive motor and other sound enhancing technologies. It also features new DJ play functions and features, such as reverse playback, adjustable starting torque and brake speed, detachable terminals for power cable and phono cables which was previously only available on the MK4 model, an option to select the strobe light indicator from red to blue the 33 45 lights, zero pitch reset light and the X2 pitch range light also changed to match the color selected, and a new push type structure for the white LED stylus illuminator. SL1210 MK7 is the same as the SL1200 MK7, but intended for the European market. Design strengths The SL1200 series was developed as a special project by Technic's parent company Matsushita in an attempt to solve problems related to turntable design. The task included minimizing acoustic feedback, unwanted resonances, wow and flutter and speed errors. This was achieved by designing a heavy plinth base made of a non-resonant composite sandwiched between a cast alloy top plate and a solid rubber base. In addition, the adjustable rubber damped feet insulated against acoustic feedback, which can be a serious problem when operating a turntable in close proximity to loudspeakers a common situation for DJs. The drive system designed by Matsushita is direct drive rather than the more commonly found belt drive type, a less expensive design. The direct drive design, which was developed to reduce wow and flutter, produces a very quiet turntable that, for a direct drive turntable, has minimal motor and bearing noise, although the bearing rumble does tend to become characteristic in well-used turntables. This was partially achieved through the fact that the SL1210-1200 made the platter a part of the motor mechanism. On the underside of the platter a large magnet is placed over the spindle, surrounding the coils and forming the motor drive, thus eliminating loss through power transfer. The SL1200 utilizes a frequency generator servo control quartz lock system that is claimed to produce the most accurate and consistent speed possible. The system is immune to static and dynamic stylus drag which otherwise cause unwanted speed variances that change the pitch and tempo of the music. Termination. On 1 November 2010, Panasonic made the following statement on the DMC World DJ Championships homepage. 
Panasonic reactive statement production of analog turntables has ceased. Panasonic has confirmed that it ceased the production of its Technics branded analog turntables this autumn, after more than 35 years as a leading manufacturer of analog turntables. Panasonic has regretfully taken the decision to leave this market. However, Panasonic will continue to sell headphones under the Technics brand. We are sure that retailers and consumers will understand that our product range has to reflect the accelerating transformation of the entire audio market from analog to digital. In addition, the number of component suppliers serving the analog market has dwindled in recent years, and we brought forward the decision to leave the market rather than risk being unable to fulfill future orders because of a lack of parts. Panasonic employees who have been working on the analog turntable range have been redeployed elsewhere within Panasonic, many of them continuing to work in Panasonic's audio-video business unit. Relaunch petition Due to the increasing popularity of vinyl by DJs, a petition is currently underway, and a petition page on Facebook, for the relaunch of the Technics SL1200, SL1210 series turntables. As of September 2015 the petition had 27,000 supporters, while 35,000 is the target Panasonic requested. On January 5, 2016 Technics agreed to relaunch both the SL1200G and the SL1200GAE. Resuming production At the 2016 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Panasonic announced it would be resuming production with a new line of turntables, beginning with the limited edition SL1200GAE at the 2019 Consumer Electronics Show. Panasonic confirmed future production of a new turntable, respectively the SL1200MK7 in matte black, adding new features to fix issues with previous issues and new construction of aluminum and fiberglass. 